Okay, foundlings, this is the Medicalorian, and I'm back with another medical tip for those of you that are planning on traversing the galaxy. All right, today we're going to be talking about burns. It seems like everything in the galaxy that is trying to set you on fire or trying to blow you apart. From your forearm flamethrowers to those three suns on Tatooine to blaster injuries to shied up pirates throwing around thermal detonators everywhere. Let's not even start about those Jedi swinging around their lightsabers. Out of all of this, you have a high likelihood of sustaining a burn injury or a heat injury. All of these different types of heat or burn injuries need to be treated and addressed quickly and in different ways. Now, in extreme temperatures, your armor will regulate the environment, so keep it in good working order. Now, if your motivator burns out, you'll be risking some heat exhaustion or maybe worse. Heat exhaustion in the desert of Tatooine will kill your career faster than being in debt to a hut. So, what you need to do is you need to stay hydrated, you need to find or make a shelter, and I recommend that you be friends with the sand people. They live in extreme temperatures and they can teach you a thing or two about environmental extremes and how to survive in that environment. Now, let's talk about blasters. All right. If you get hit in an area that your best guard doesn't cover, the blaster is going to cause one, a penetrating injury and a burn, and two, uh, if you're lucky, it may cauterize the wound. Now, if you take a hit, the first thing you need to do is make sure that you kill that dank ferric attacker, right? Lay some hate on that enemy, then get your tourniquet on like I trained you in our last video. Now you gotta treat the laser burn. So the first step is to stop the burning, right? You need to douse it with water, and I want you to cover it with a dry, sterile dressing. Don't wanna stay wet. You're gonna get hypothermia, and your armor's environmental controls may not be able to regulate the extreme temperature changes of your body. Dry, sterile dressing, right? If you've got some Bacta spray, use that to ward off the shock and help boost the healing process. If it's really bad, foundlings, you're gonna need a Bacta tank. They are expensive and they are rare on the outer rim. Worst case foundlings, you may have to get some fancy mechanical parts added to you just like Auntie Finnick Shan did. It is what it is. Now, if it's a stormtrooper, well, you don't need to worry much. They can't hit anything, most of the time. But a large group of them firing randomly, firing in you know, total random patterns, even the Imperial troopers sometimes get lucky. Now, if you run across a Jedi, just remember, those lightsabers will sever and give you a nasty burn stump. It's not gonna bleed much because it leaves a full thickness burn. Just like your other injuries, you need to cool it, cover it, watch for signs of shock. You need to get to a good spaceport for a robotic replacement of whatever you lost. All right, foundlings, don't mess with a Jedi. Don't mess with a Sith. It's a bad career move. Okay, foundlings, the Jedi and the Mandalorians haven't always seen eye to eye. So just stay clear. It, it, it makes it easier. Okay? All right. Pro tip. There are all kinds of other burn injuries you wouldn't normally think about. So pay attention, children of the watch. Listen, let's talk about jet wash. Don't walk behind a ship that's about to take off. If it doesn't crispify you, then you're going to get a lung full of superheated air that's going to melt your insides. That's why we never take off our helmets. It protects your face, it protects your lungs, it filters it out. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Simple way to avoid a nasty burn is to be aware of your surroundings at all times. And finally, blast burns. Now again, I love throwing thermal detonators around just as much as every other Mandalorian, right? After all, there are some problems that can only be solved with a proper application of high explosives. Hey, hey, foundlings, are you even listening? Are you listening to me? Hey, be careful with that. Who's that guy? All right, whatever. Okay, 
Pay attention. Now, when dropping detonators on shy dot pirates, remember the layers of blast injuries and don't get your tubies blown off. Okay? Listen. Pressure wave, debris, burns, getting knocked down, falling into objects, flying objects. It, it's all bad, all right? Let the detonator damage your target and not you. I think we're going to do a different training on this in our next injury video when we talk about blast injuries. All right. Now listen, Mandoa. Enough medical training for today. We need to head to the range. And let's start getting in some trigger time, okay? Well, if you wookie this up, you might get some real medical practice, right? But let's act safe. Okay, that's all from the Medic Lorian today, kids. So listen, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.